something to feel welcome to. Uh, sometimes when I channel them between eight of us recording, we might get one recording or we may get pieces of a few that I added together. But so um, you'll see as they first enter my body, you'll tell that I'm still kind of there. It, it'll the energy will be a little bit like you'll be like oh really that's the best you can do but they'll come in more and more and more until you see I'm gone and then they'll take over and um, I invite you all to open yourselves up because every one of us is connected to the Akashic Library every one of us has the ability to connect with our personal librarian guides all of that so Jean Marie opened us beautifully uh, I invite you to invite your connections with the library your guardian angel to chat with you because um, you never know what will happen okay um, so I'm going to ask everybody to go on mute so make I sure you're on mute most of you are but I'm still hearing some background noise and then unmute if you have a question. Yes. Okay. We are still flowing in. Our young one is a little out of sorts. We're sending her to the library so that she will not interfere with our frequency. We may call her back later, but we send her away, send her away. She's, she, she is out of shape. She has not been connecting in this way, and now she's uh, energetically flabby and lost her pace. So we send away, send away, this is good. And now we are here and we wish you a very fine evening to all of you. We have such gratitude in our collective heart that we may share this time with you and talk with you about an issue we find of vital importance and we hope that you shall as well. And this of course is time, time. We have been talking for a while about time. Of course, not all of you realize this because we have been talking in your future about it and now we realize that we need to catch you up to where you will be so that you can be ready for it when that happens on your very simple linear line of time. Imagine in our conception, one is traveling on a path and one can travel any which way you choose. You can travel by boat, by walking, by uh, automotive, by airplane, by transformation by flying you know transmuting yourself into a bird and fly by burrowing underground you can go any which way to get to where you wish to go but you darling humans with this way you cling to linear timeline all you do is plod one foot then one foot and then you stop and then you go backwards then you go forward again one foot one foot it's very hard on you because you do not understand, you do not see and recognize the many, many ways that you can traverse time. So we would like to loosen your minds a little bit. And we do not say this to be demeaning to you in any way, shape or form, because you are, of course,
course, a group of evolved benevolent humans. And of course, not all of you are human and you know this, but because you are able to understand what we are saying, and then hopefully it is our manifesting hope that you will go forward and consider what we say, think about it, apply it to your reality, and then share this with the others. So time, you go forward, but as we from our conception are talking with you now, many of you we are also talking with now at other times in the future, and also sidewise in alternative lineages. So we see time more like a, a tapestry spread out. When you put your blanket on your bed, you do not just see the one thread, you see the entire blanket and you are capable of touching and moving and, and cuddling under and wafting in the air this blanket all at the same time. This is how time can be for you. And indeed, within the next decade or probably less, this is how it will be for you. The researchers are saying within three years, many of you will be living in, within within possibly shorter many of you will be living in a much expanded uh daily connection with time so please be prepared for this so imagine you are playing chess a game of chess you move one piece your opponent moves one piece you have very strict rules on how you are allowed to play this game but one game of chess can last 20 minutes, two hours, who knows? Now imagine you are 100 years ago and you are playing chess with a friend or colleague who is in another country across the world. You receive a letter in the mail and there is a move written on it. You go to your chessboard, you move their piece, the exact move. You think, you ponder, you imagine all the possible outcomes. And then finally, you write down one move on a piece of paper, you move your piece, you mail the letter, and hopefully one or two months later, you receive a letter with one move. This is a much more complicated game of chess that can take years, decades even to play. In fact, one of you might die and thus forfeit the game. But if you are playing this game and you also have seven other games played with other people around the world, and they may also be playing games with other people of your acquaintance, there may be crossing games happening each of which expires in its own appropriate time. It is still the same game, but much more woven together and complicated. And now imagine, instead of just a flat board, you wish to play three-dimensional chess. Immediately, it becomes more complicated. But you bring it to current time, you are playing with someone in another part of the world via telecast as we are now. Suddenly, what had taken decades can be resolved in 20 minutes to two hours, and you have eight screens on your computer at once. So all the games that you are playing with everyone around the world, some of whom are also playing each other, are happening simultaneously in a multi-level board. And then imagine you are allowed to move your pieces from one person, one square on the screen to another one. You are able to cross play each other. You are all playing each other at once on all of your boards as one grand landscape. And then imagine you throw away half your rules 
because they no longer apply. This is how we see time. Kind of. And if you have questions, feel welcome to interrupt with them at any moment. You are in the process of manifesting a new planet, a new Earth. Many of you have contracted before you came to life. So some of the beliefs that you have, the passions that you inspire, those you are drawn to, to listen to, to act with, may be an agreement that you made before you came to Earth. It may be the entire reason why you came to Earth and all your life till now has been for helping others, for having some experiences while you are waiting, for growing your soul, you know, any of that. But now you are here at the time of your purpose and you are being called to place. You may be listening to some who are saying things that you say, oh, no, 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 that's not for me because it is not for you. That is not your group. You belong with another group. And you may be called to others saying, I feel I belong here. Well, wonderful. You are honoring your contract to be among a group for a purpose to help with your planetary healing. Some of you, because your life has not gone quite as planned, may actually be shifting from one group to another because your skills were not the skills you thought you would have at this moment. You have different skills or different applications or you honor the contract, but with a different format. So please understand there is much shifting. Now this chess set that we're playing is all made of quicksand and it's shifting around, but because we're ascending vibrations, it is all shifting to the perfect pattern so that all who play may feel as though they're accomplishing something grand. We ask, does anyone have any questions? Do you hear what we are saying? Yes. This hostess yes. of the evening, yeah. is everyone happy with what we are saying? I have one question. We would be delighted to hear your one question and more if you have them. The rules are changing. You said that the rules are changing. Yes. How can we discover the new rules? The rules you have are the rules that your common consciousness created. Your common consciousness is now opening up and creating new rules. You have discovered that humanity is not the most important life form on your planet. And you have discovered that there is much more to what is happening than many people realize. You have discovered that things that seemed so important before, maybe they are not so. And things that you have thought you did not deserve of are becoming your life. And we do not just mean you in this group, although of course there has been a rash of epiphanies among you. We see the energy and of course we know your life paths. We are very happy to see this. So how does the, how do the rules change? You change your cognition of the rules and then the rules change. Okay, so what I understand you to say, if, I, if I'm picking this correctly, is that what we think of as rules are basically derived from principles and these principles are fluid. We are entering to a new age in which we're seeing the principles in a different light and therefore we'll derive new rules from the higher understanding of the basic principles. Well, you combine rules and principles as though they work together. Understand there's no connection between them beyond justification. Principles are simple. You must love, you must honor, you must be kind, you must raise your frequency and always, no matter what your experience, learn your lesson and then return to a joyous state of being. So these are principles, 
rules are a structure you create so you feel like you are not going insane so you feel empowered so you feel like you have a focus and direction other than your inner guidance principles are inner guidance rules are created by society as an exterior structure does this make sense to you nothing but sense thank you very much it is our pleasure do we have any other questions yes so the rules that we're talking about um is this the movement from newtonian physics to real quantum physics these are some of the rules and the rules you are learning are about personal empowerment that you do not need to play any game to in order to have a successful life that you can craft your own life but yes certainly if you live in a rule where everything is three-dimensional and what falls is dropped from above will fall to below then that will be the rules you live in but if you release those rules then there are many many more options available to you if you say telepathy is possible and i am a telepath if you believe this you will find yourself reading people's thoughts and that can be very interesting experience If you believe with your full being that you have a healing touch, when you touch others, they will be healed. And that will be a very interesting experience. You create the rules that you live by. No, we take that back. Society creates rules and they tell you when you're a child, you must live with these rules to to survive to thrive so you live in these rules but that is just one set of rules anything you do one way can be done equally well in a variety of other ways if you wish to live in three-dimensional linear time newtonial physics then go ahead but if you feel that is constraining of you, the only thing you need to release is the hold that that belief system has upon you. I have a question. Yes. Are you telling me that belief and path are intertwined? I am saying that everyone on your planet is already an empath. It is the belief that allows it to be open or shut down. I am saying everyone on your planet is a wonderful healer. Everyone on your planet has skills beyond measure, but you were not taught how to nurture these when you were a child. So now you have the more difficult task of releasing all the judgment that was given to you so you may accept all that your natural tendencies are calling for do you understand this intellectually yes this is the challenge this is the <laughs> challenge but understand you have skills that once you believe in them they will happen Thank you. We look forward to helping all of you to step into your grand and glorious path of multi-time, multi-dimension, interplanetary healers, or whatever else you wish to be. We suggest you look into your heart and ask your heart, what do you want? And let your heart tell you something and then go forward and try it out and now we can feel our host body is becoming a little tired so we are going to go forward but we ask you play with your sense of time 
play with your sense of time and open to the possibilities, see what can happen. Thank you very much for coming. We thank you for your invitation. Blessings to you all. Thank you.